Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to Advanced Warfare In Depth. In today's episode, we're going to be reviewing the Atlas 20mm Sniper Rifle, the big bad boy in the Sniper Rifle group, and rounding out the snipers in general today. Going to be having a little bit less variety in gameplay, as I'm going to stick with one game in particular more often than not that shows how best use the Atlas, which is in the back of the map doing old man sniping. Let's start off with one unusual Atlas fact, and that's that it only has one default scope. This, you can't put any optical attachments on it at all. No variable zoom, no thermal, none of that sort of stuff. This default scope has a higher level of zoom than the normal, like Moors or, you know, Lynx or anything else. So you're going to have to contend with that, basically making you use it in the back of the map. And the aim down sights time is 0.39 seconds, which is the same as the default Moor. So it has essentially the same quick scoping potential, with the exception of the fact that you can't change the scope. So you zoom in like crazy, crazy far. And on all of the variants, the one shot kill areas are the same. None of the variants, even if they have positive or negative damage attributes, change in one-shot kill areas at all, at least nothing that's known. As far as all the testing and all the Den Kirsten forms and all of Marvel 4's work and all of that sort of stuff, it seems that the one-shot kill areas are the same. It'll deal a flat 98 damage at any range, but as we all know, it's got multipliers all over the body. It's got kind of heavy ones, actually, like a lot of 1.5s and 1.3s, but I'm getting derailed. Let's take a look at the one-shot kill areas. All of the areas in red on my exo lady and yes i do rock a female soldier are one shot kill areas you'll notice that the hands are not one shot kill areas and the knees are not cut off due to bad cropping down here they're just lower legs do not one shot kill however the head the neck the ch upper chest, lower chest, groin, upper legs, upper and lower arms are all one-shot kill areas. Now hands, and sometimes some of these regions around the wrist and the PD and the, the, like your, your exo launchers are not going to get one-shot kills, and nothing below the knee is going to get a one-shot kill, but there are really huge one-shot kill areas on the Atlas 20mm, and it's going to get more one-shot kills than the Moors or any other sniper rifle in Advanced Warfare, just the nature of how it works. The rate of fire is 300 rounds per minute, which is a little bit high for sniper rifles unfortunately you've only got a four round magazine when you run extended mags it goes up to six and makes it more manageable but you'll burn through those four rounds pretty quickly and you'll find yourself reloading quite often there are a lot of questions about the variant rate of fire so i'll put those all up in a giant chart again the hypersonic snipe snapper and presto all fire about 10 percent faster at 333 rpm the improved action is about five percent faster at 315 rpm and the 13 twist and the talent are a little bit slower again about 5% slower at 15 RPM. I mean, not 15, huh? 285 RPM. I was doing plus or minus 15s in my head, but you can take a look at them all right there. Again, we prefer the faster firing ones, except I, I really don't spam with the sniper rifle because the recoil is kind of moderate to high. It's far more manageable when I'm prone, and most people almost never do the double tap follow up because it's not very accurate. Since unlike the Lynx, this can very easily kill in one shot. There's very, free, there's very rarely a reason to just kind of spam it. Most people are very careful with their shots, and so am I. Like the Moors, however, black scoping gives you perfect accuracy quick scopes. It's kind of ridiculous how good this works. And I gotta admit, the Atlas has kind of a good quick scoping feel to it. It feels better than it should when I quick scope, and I really don't necessarily understand why. But if you want to learn more, you can click the text right there and it'll take you to that whole video. Moving on, this weapon is somewhat unusual in that it cannot be hip fired. There is no hip fire whatsoever for the Atlas, so I guess I can't complain about it having bad hip fire. You just can't hip fire at all. If you're running around and you try to shoot from the hip, it won't do anything. You have to aim down sights before it can fire because it's a giant 20 millimeter cannon. Run speed is 80%. That should not be surprising considering the size of the gun and how huge it is. The raise and drop and sprint in and out times are quite slow. One of probably the slowest among the sniper rifles. It just does not handle well again because in real life it's like a hundred pound gun it should not handle well the best two variants are the virtuosity and the snapper each one offers a completely different thing the virtuosity has plus three handling so it will recover from sprinting very very quickly if you want to quick scope with the atlas 20 millimeter which is doable or fast snipe the virtuos the virtuosity is definitely going to be the way to go you're going to be able to recover from sprinting far faster with the virtuosity handling bonus than anything 
anything else. However, if you want to go prone and, prone and just dump bullets downstream and spam people with this big, huge sniper rifle, the snapper is going to be the way to go because it has the highest rate of fire with the least other negative penalties. These are both elite weapons. You have to get them randomly and unlocks, but these are the two that I would prefer if I were using the elites. And as for what I think about this gun, I think that this is the best sniper rifle for old man sniping in big maps. It's pretty much bad for anything else. And by old man sniping, I mean actual sniping, like shooting people from far away, tactically holding points, camping, if you have to call it that, not quick scoping, not trick shotting, not 360 YY ladder fakie, whatever, but just actually sniping. If you want to sit way, way, way back in the big maps like Instinct, this, this is a great gun for that. It's not very good for anything else though at all. And the must have attachments on this one are the ballistic CPU and the extended mags. The ballistic CPU cuts the sway because you just, that's just no good. We don't like sway. Sway is bad for you. And extended mags because you've only got four rounds in the magazine. I find myself reloading all the time. With extended mags, I'm not quite as pressured to reload and it handles much better that way. That's all for this episode of In-Depth. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you learned something useful. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. You can check out the episode on the Moore sniper rifle, which was quite quite a long in depth, quite a detailed one right there. And the next one is going to be on the RW1 rail pistol. I'm getting all these kind of crazy one-shot guns out of the way. Drifter out.